Hello everyone, and welcome back for my summer 2022 weather forecast. On this video, we are going to go over my predictions for this summer, and at the end, we will review my overall forecast for the United States. Without further ado, let's begin by looking at my temperature forecast. One thing to notice about this summer is that most of the United States will likely be experiencing above average temperatures between June and August, all across this light orange shade. The areas in gray have the best chance at seeing their average summer temperatures. Once we move into this slightly darker orange color, the probability of above average temperatures will increase. Lastly, this red shade is where we are expecting the highest chance at seeing well above normal temperatures this summer, so be ready for some hot conditions if you live there. And here is my precipitation forecast. A large brown area covers the majority of the western and central United States. This represents dry weather overall. Please note that dry weather doesn't mean that you won't get any rainfall, this just means that most of the summer will be dry, with less rain than usual in some locations. The other shade of brown represents even drier conditions, with little rainfall and significant drought conditions expected to persist throughout the summer. Wildfires will likely be a problem in this area as well. This now brings us to this large green area that covers the eastern United States and a portion of the southwest, which represents about average rainfall. A potentially active monsoon season may bring some short-term drought relief to parts of southern Arizona and New Mexico, so rainfall totals may be slightly above average for that area. Lastly, we also have some dark green areas, which have the greatest chance at seeing more precipitation than usual. If you live within those dark green areas, expect multiple rounds of rainfall and thunderstorms this summer. And here is the wildfire forecast. This forecast is valid for the entire year of 2022, including the summertime. Areas in this yellow color across the majority of the eastern United States have a low risk of wildfires, due to wet and humid conditions likely for most of the summer. The light orange color has an increased possibility of wildfires, across southern Florida, parts of the Appalachian Mountains, the central United States, the northwest, and more. The dark orange color has a high threat of wildfires this season which actually corresponds to where below average rainfall and drought conditions are expected this summer. Lastly, this large red area represents an extreme risk of fires this season, due to high heat, low humidity, and little rainfall. And here is my severe weather forecast for the summer. If you live in this green color, you can expect very little to no severe weather this summer. Once you move into this large red area, I'm expecting an average severe weather season, with multiple rounds of severe weather being pretty likely through the summer months. The darker red color, which covers parts of the southwestern and the eastern United States has a higher chance at seeing severe weather. We are expecting an increased severe weather risk in the southwest, but mostly towards July and August when monsoon season begins. Lastly, the purple color represents the highest risk of severe weather this summer, from the upper Midwest down into the southeast, then up into the northeast. Numerous rounds of damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes are likely across different portions of this region. For the last portion of this video, let's look at my overall summer forecast. Let's begin in the Pacific Northwest, where we see a small tan area, covering parts of western Washington and Oregon. If you live there, you can expect milder temperatures with even some rainy periods at first, before turning warmer and drier later into the summertime. The next area, which is this large bright orange color, represents where we are expecting plenty of hot and dry weather, leading to widespread and destructive wildfires. This brown color stretching from the Canadian border to Texas represents where we are expecting the driest weather, along with heat and wildfire concerns. The next layer, which is this bright pink, is where you can expect broiling heat, with multiple days this summer with temperatures possibly over 100 degrees. The next layer is this large green area across the southeastern United States, which represents where I expect frequent summer storms, some of which could be severe, along with heat and humidity. I also expect a few tropical systems to make landfall along the coastlines within the green area, which will also bring plenty of moisture and severe weather threats along with them. Lastly, this large green color from the Dakotas into the northeast is where I expect hot and stormy weather, with the potential for numerous severe weather events. And that concludes my summer forecast for the year of 2022. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from this channel, consider liking the video and subscribing. 